color blending is an effect that blends two colored layers into an embroidery object. This can be used to create shading and perspective to an object. The effect will duplicate the object and apply a gradient fill and travel on edge to both layers. Travel on edge forces the traveling stitches to go along the outside edge of an object rather than through an object. The object is grouped after the effect is applied. Color blending can be applied to satin, step, or fancy fills and satin or blanket stitch outlines. Select the object, go to the Edit Toolbox, and select Color Blend. A dialog box appears. You can select four different profiles. The first two are linear and the second two are curved. This shows you how the different colors will be blended. Choose a profile, then choose the two colors, the one on the bottom and the one on the top. You can also change the maximum spacing. These can be the same amount or a different amount. Notice that there is not an apply button in this dialog box. So if you click OK and do not like the effect, you'll have to click undo and then reaccess color blending. So you can see how the two colors are blended. And if you look in color film, where the red object is dense, the blue object is lighter in density. It reverses for the second object. Notice the symbol in the upper left corner indicates that the objects are grouped. If you wish to edit the blended object, you must ungroup it first. You can right click on the object and select ungroup. You then have access to each color separately. After ungrouping, you can change the color of one object, you can apply color blending again, or you can open effects, go to the gradient fill tab, and change the type of profile. After making the changes, you can select both of the objects and then regroup them. Let's apply color blending to a satin outline. Select it and click on color blending. Once again, choose the two colors that you wish and you can choose the profile. Click OK and the color blend is applied to the satin stitch. Notice the density differences in the red and the orange object. If you don't like the effect, click Undo, select the object again, go back into color blending, and change the maximum spacing. You can also change the profile. Click OK and you'll get a different effect. Color blending can also be applied to a blanket stitch. Once again, select the stitch, click on color blending, choose the colors that you want to use, and click OK. Have fun experimenting with color blending.